come to life. I saw a body in an audience one time come right to life and get up and walk out of the whole baby. But listen, your bodies are taken care of. Now, what about this one here? Oh, I couldn't touch a body without a requisition. It's an NBC policy. Oh, it is? Now, wait a minute. We can't... This may be a CBS body. Oh. Oh, they have no facilities over there. Oh, they don't. <laughs> they leave all sorts of things all around in other people's buildings. They do, huh? If I'm caught with a CBS body in my files, I'll be the laughing stock of NBC. Well, just a minute, Mr. Weaver. This non-breathing member of AFRA is in our way. Now, I want you to take him out of here. Get him out of the way. To whom are you giving orders? I'm giving orders to you. I am vice president in charge of bodies. I don't care whether you're vice president in charge of drool found on the chins of little boys who are lost in the building. Well, <laughs> I am telling you to take him out of here. That's my, uh, uh, my... Jeez. What was that? The, who spoke? The body. Look, he's getting up. Oh, oh, well, if he's moving, he's not in my department. Well, if he's moving, he's not with NBC, you might have said. <laughs> Just a minute, brother. My name is Fred Allen. Who are you? I'm Dave Garraway, Fred. Oh! <laughs> well, this is sure a surprise, Dave. Uh, you know, many times a, a, a guest star has turned out to be a stiff, but this is the first time a stiff has ever turned out to be a guest star. I couldn't help going to sleep, though. I'm, I'm well, I wouldn't worry about it, Dave. People are always going to sleep in the middle of my show. It's nothing unusual. I just didn't want to be the first, but do I have to get start getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning for my new television show that starts a week from tomorrow. 4 o'clock in the morning? There is such an hour. You've had this verified, have you? <laughs> There's such an hour. The show doesn't go on at 4. It, oh, it I goes see. on at 7 o'clock all over the country from 7 to 9. Two hours. It's a, a new kind of TV show. One that actually uh, you don't have to watch. Uh, oh, really? You know that your uh, television set's also a radio, don't you? Think about that. Nine out of ten of us are up between seven and nine. And if you'll take a little clip of your dial, just the sound part of your TV set, you may see a brand new kind of show. In fact, I'm thinking you will. Well, One that's never been done tell before. me. Now, wait a minute, Dave, before you explain the whole thing. Let me ask you, if you're going on at seven o'clock in the morning, who's going to be up to look at your show? Milkmen and Roosters? Well, <laughs> they can look too, but... Um, three out of four people listen to the radio at that time of day. Do you know that? Uh-huh. And, and we have, down at NBC, a new place to integrate all the communications facilities of the whole world. There's never been a spot like our new point of origination. We'll get together, not just a New York show, but a show from all the country for all the people in it. Well, who will be up to go on it with you? What will you have on it, like uh, opening of morning glories and owls going back to bed and things like that? <laughs> what, what are you going to... Well, wait, wait, don't go to doze off yet, Dave. Look, uh, what are you going to call your show? Well, we're going to call it Today. Today. Uh, it'll be called Today because it will equip the, the man or woman or kid at home to know more about the world they're going out and the day they're going to face than has ever been possible before. And we won't have uh, just a lot of big, beautiful news. We'll have lovely people, guest yes, stars, right. talks about small people, lots of reviews of books and magazines, well, lots sounds of music. It sounds, I didn't mean to interrupt, it sounds very interesting, but for you to get up at this hour and carry on for two or three hours every morning, wouldn't this accidentally kill you before you reached your adolescence, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Is possible? Don't you think so? Dave, Dave, wake up. No, 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 no. It, it'll be all right. Well, we've got the greatest crew ever assembled down there at NBC. <laughs> you, should, you should see them. But tell me, won't this cost a lot of money? Money? Fred. Yes. Money means nothing to NBC. Really? That's what NBC stands for. NBC what? Yeah. No. Bonus Christmas. Oh, I see. I thought it was nothing but cash. I see. I was wondering then. Well, tell me, Dave. Now, don't wait. Don't do it. Don't, don't doze off. Now, Dave, Dave, wake up. There's one more thing I wanted to tell you, Dave. What's that, Fred? Uh, that I have no more lines. I just wanted to wake you up to tell you that. I haven't any, <laughs> any, any more dialogue. Well, I, I get so sleepy. I can't help it. I'm sorry, but I just fall asleep at the drop of a hat. At the there. drop of a hat, really? <laughs> Say, he's as good as his word, isn't he? Well, all right, Dave. Look, I, wa I don't want to... Uh, I Dave, 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 no. are you going back to... I, I have to take a little nap. On really? Time. Why? Well... Four o'clock practice. I've seven o'clock. Seven o'clock up. Well, I tell you, Dave, if you, I think I'll get a little sleep too. You're gonna help me? 
Well, no, I won't help you sleep. I'll do some sleeping on my own time. What for? I tell you, Dave, you are my friend. And if you're going to be up at 7 o'clock in the morning to go on television, somebody has got to be up to look at you. Move over, Dave, because I am going to get some sleep. <laughs>